Hello, I'm going to continue to show you my ancient coin folder. The first page is mainly large Greek silver coins. I keep them in these 2x2 two two flips which are good because you can write the details on each side and I write the size, the weight, the denomination, where it was from, what the date range was and on the back I write the date that I acquired the coin and how much it cost me. So the first coin we're going to look at is an Alexander the Great Drachim, which is from Sardis, an island just off the coast of Greece. And this was really the first ancient coin that I acquired. It's got Zeus on the back, sitting throned, and you can tell whether it's a lifetime issue by whether his legs are crossed or not. And it's got the head of Heracles wearing a lion skin on the front. The next one is a bigger version, it's worth 10 times the amount and it's one of my favourite coins. And the next coin is a Corinthian stator featuring a Pegasus and on the other side Athena with a Corinthian helm. I think this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing coins I've got. The Pegasus is beautiful and the Corinthian helm features on some of the Britannia coins as well. It's a very iconic image. The next are some recognisable coins featuring an owl. These are probably the most famous coins issued by Athens. The two versions differ slightly. The archaic type has a sprig of olive and the more modern type has a bit of background with uh, names of various city officials and that helps to date them. And next the Thasos Tet. It's quite a large good looking coin and quite reasonable so it's a good one to start with because you get lots of show for your money. Next we see a coin from Thasos in Thrace Thrace is where Bulgaria is now and their coins are themed with some quite rude topics. Here we see a satyr carrying off a nymph who's protesting. They've got coins which have uh, nudity and masturbation on them. So a bit naughty. Another well loved series of coins are the turtle coins from Aegina which are the islands off of Attica. This one's got a turtle on it and an inky square on the back. They also have them with uh, different patterns on the shell and uh, an interesting thick series of coins. This next coin has the same design on both sides but on one side it comes outwards and the other side it's stamped inwards. It's from Britium. This is a Nomus denomination. I spent quite a long time searching for a decent coin from Rhodes. I wanted the larger variety but in the end I settled up with this one. This is Helios facing slightly right and a rosebud on the reverse. This next one is from Lydia under Persian rule. Picked this coin up at the London Coin Fair. The photography is not that good but it shows King Darius on one knee with a bow and on the other side an incused pattern. And the final coin is from Istros in Mosia and this one has the juxtaposed heads of twins and an eagle standing on a dolphin on the reverse. This was also picked up at the London Coin Fair and it's quite interesting that sometimes the head on the left is the correct way up and sometimes the head on the right is the correct way up. So there's two different versions to look out for. Thanks for watching.